What's going on guys? So for today's video, I wanted to talk about three things that you can do to maximize your performance before, during, and after a game or practice. And I'm not talking like working out or anything like that. I'm talking stuff that you can take in to make sure you're performing to the best of your abilities. Now, when I say take in, I'm talking like food, supplements, hydration, things along those lines. And I'm gonna also talk about a couple things that I don't really want you to do that a lot of people are gonna be doing and might actually be hindering some of your performance. So this video is gonna be relevant all the time, um, but the main reason I wanted to talk about it is we are just getting out of this coronavirus deal. Well, not necessarily out of it, but kids are starting to scrimmage, practice a little bit more, and it's the middle of June. It's extremely humid, at least here in New York. And I know it's even 10 times hotter in other states like Florida, Georgia, and stuff like that. So I wanna make sure that people are going about this the right way. Kids haven't played their sport in a really long time. And even if it has been a long time, this is still gonna be important things for you to focus on, especially when it's really hot out. So the first thing I wanna talk about is gonna be before practice game or whatever it is. Um, a lot of kids tend to wake up and don't really eat breakfast or didn't have a big dinner, a combination of the both. And let's say their game's at one o'clock or something like that. Uh, they haven't really gotten that much stuff in them and now they're sitting in the hot sun or running around without that much energy in them. So I think it's gonna be really important to get something in. Now it doesn't need to be a full blown meal. You don't need four eggs and bacon and stuff like that, but maybe a couple pieces of fruit or maybe a combination of some fruit and nuts and almonds or maybe a little yogurt but we should be getting something in there to kind of jump start our system give us a little bit of sugar okay so we can feel ready to play and get a little bit of energy in there um and just something with a little bit of substance so we have some sort of energy in us now the second one is going to be during that game or practice um and this is going to be hydration i don't think i need to go too in depth on the benefits of hydration but i want to talk about is mainly how to hydrate in these situations and my main recommendation is gonna be not Gatorade or Powerade or Body Armor or anything like that. Those have a ton of sugar in them and a lot of times can actually do the opposite of what we're looking for and dehydrate us because there's so much sugar in them. Now in days where it is just unbelievably hot, let's say you're playing a lacrosse game in the middle of Georgia in the middle of summer. Yeah, we're gonna want some sugar in there and it's okay to get those electrolytes in there during uh, that game or practice and with that Gatorade. But a lot of times we tend to kind of like over prescribe, if that makes sense, Gatorade. And again, that sugar is just going to be dehydrating us. Yes, the electrolytes are important, but the sugar is going to be messing with us just a little bit more. and We might even cramp up more. So what do we do if we are not having Gatorade? How do we substitute Gatorade? One, obviously it's gonna be water, but there are certain times where we just need a little bit more than that. Sometimes adding a lemon in water can be really good. One, it tastes good and it's got some benefits to it like vitamin C that are gonna help us kind of keep going when it comes to our game or practices. The second one is my personal favorite and the one that I use on days where I'm really hot and sweating a ton and I wanna replenish some electrolytes and that's gonna be coconut water. Sometimes the taste is not ideal for people out there and it does take some getting used to, but it's something that's gonna be really good for you, really beneficial. It's gonna have all the electrolytes that you need to truly replenish your system. And it's not gonna have that sugar that's gonna dehydrate you. So it might take a little getting used to, but if you can get over that hump of not being the biggest fan of the flavor, it's gonna feel really, really good to get all that stuff in there without the sugar. And I notice a huge difference on the days where I'm sweating a ton and I get a coconut water in there. The last one is gonna be what we wanna do after that game or practice. Obviously on top of that hydration and maybe having some fruit after, we need to get the protein in there. I don't think this is any secret, but especially in these times, kids haven't played their sport in maybe like two or three months. Yeah, they're practicing, but you can't mimic game time type of stuff. So these kids are severely beaten down and really roughed up. If you haven't swung a baseball bat in three months and you go swing one 35 times as hard as you possibly can, you're gonna feel pretty jacked up. So we're gonna really need to make sure we're getting a decent amount of protein in there. Emphasis on that decent amount. 10 grams is not gonna do the trick. I don't care if you are 14 or 15. We need a lot of protein in there. A protein shake would probably be my best, um, would be my best recommendation. I'll put the brand that I personally recommend for everybody. It's very clean. Um, if you can maybe add in some almond milk or regular milk, that's also gonna have some other benefits for us when it comes to our recovery. But we're gonna need like 25 to 30 grams of protein. Parents watching this, I want you to go swing a baseball bat 35 times right now. You're gonna feel pretty jacked up the next day. The kids are feeling the same way, even though they are the young and re uh, recover pretty quickly they still haven't swung a bat in a while. And again, I'm just using baseball as an example. It could be shooting a lacrosse stick or hockey, whatever it might be. They're pretty beat up. 
and they're gonna need a lot of protein to recover, especially too if they're playing a contact sport. They haven't gotten hit in a while. That takes some getting used to. They're beat up and they need some protein. I hope that helped out. Now, again, it's a little more relevant and I made the video because of everything that's going on right now. Kids have taken about three months off from their sports and it's extremely humid out, at least here in New York it is. Um, but this is gonna be very relevant information all the time, whether it's hot, whether you're consistently playing, cold, raining, it doesn't matter. These are things you should be focusing on when going into a sport or practice. Try to have a little bit of something in there before that game or practice, preferably fruit. Try and get some good hydration in during that game or that practice water coconut water water with a lemon again on the extreme extreme days gatorade can be okay um and then let's get a ton of protein in after that game or practice so we can maximize that recovery and not feel so beat up the next day again i hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it helpful if you made it this far thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content please give me a subscribe so you can stay up to date for every time i'm releasing a new video and as always go ahead and follow me on my other social media accounts where i'm pumping out a bunch of daily content for you guys i'll see you next time